All right, the objective for this lesson is that you'll be able to translate figures on the coordinate plane. And we'll learn on the next slide what translate means, but just to give you a quick preview, it just means to move things up, down, left, right. So we're going to have things on the coordinate plane, shapes, or points, and we're just going to move them. So these notes were given in class on January 11th. They're from Chapter 10, 1, Part B in your textbook. The topic is translations. The definition for translating is moving every point of an object on the coordinate plane in the same direction and distance. So every point you're going to move in the same direction and the same distance. So it could be up and down or left and right. But it's as simple as that. So we're going to start off with a very simple example. And then we'll move into some that are a little more difficult. But still not too difficult. This lesson is pretty easy but there's a lot of information so you might want to review some of the things more than once until you fully understand it so here's our first example and I'm saying this is an easy example we have this coordinate plane with point A located at negative 3 1 and our instructions are to translate it five units right and three units down so we're just going to move this point five units right and three units down and I'm gonna draw lines here you don't have to do this when you're doing assignments I'm just drawing these to show you exactly what I'm doing so point a I'm gonna move five units to the right so one two three four five and three units down one two three and there's my new location for point A and since this is a new location for point A I'm gonna call it A with an apostrophe which the way that we read that in math terms is we say that's A prime so A apostrophe is A prime so we took point A we moved it five units right and three units down and we label it as A prime so we can tell the difference between the starting point of A and its ending point. The starting point will not have the apostrophe on it or the prime mark. The ending location of it will have the prime mark. So that's how we tell that it's something that's been moved. So that was just a very easy example. So let's move to one that's slightly harder. It's just a shape. It's a triangle. Triangle KST. We want to translate this whole shape four units left and five units up so you might be wondering how the heck do I do a whole shape here's what you need to think about this shape is really just made up of three points point K S and T so just like on the previous page where we translated one point now we're just going to translate all three of these points so this is just three points that are connected with lines to form the shape. So we'll translate them four units left, five units up, and then reconnect the dots to reform the shape. So again, the arrows that I'm drawing, you don't have to do this on your assignments. Just doing this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So four units left. So I'll start with K. One, two, three, four. Doesn't matter which point I start with. And now I'm going to go five units up. One, two, three, four, five. This new point is K prime, right? So we write K prime here. This is K. This is K prime. Now I just need to translate the other two points. So let's translate S. Four units left. One, two, three, four, five units up. One, two, three, four, five. Do the same thing for T. Four units left. One, two, three, four, five units up. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and label these points. This is S prime. This point is. T prime and now I just need to connect the dots so 
connect these together to reform my triangle. And now I just translated KST, four units left and five units up. So I just break it into the three points, move the three points, and reconnect the dots. It's as simple as that. But of course, since this is math, we want to come up with a mathematical rule to describe this. This is words. Let's see if we can write a mathematical expression to describe this. So I'm going to write rule. Basically, what I'm going to say is how far am I moving my x values and how far am I moving my y values? So let's look at point k. I moved my k point four units to the left. So my x value went four units to the left. So looking at this, as I move to the left, do my x values increase or decrease? So going from here to here, I started at an x value of one, I ended up at an x value of negative three. So my x values decreased. So how much did they decrease by? They decreased by four. So I write x minus four. My x value went from 1 to negative 3, which means it decreased by 4. My y value, let's look at k again. It went from here up to here. So the y value went from negative 2 up to 3. From negative 2 up to 3. So my y value increased. Right? How much did it increase by? It increased by 5. So I'm going to write y plus and that's the rule. This tells me take the x value, subtract 4, take the y value, subtract 5, and it will give me the new coordinates. So if I looked at the coordinates of one of these points, uh, let's look at t. So t, the coordinates are 3, negative 3. So if I use this rule, it says take my x value minus 4, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. I take my y value plus 5. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. And if you look, the answer to this mathematical expression is the coordinates of the new t. The new t is at negative 1, 2, which is what I got when I used my rule. So the rule just tells you mathematically how do I translate this point to this point. You do it by subtracting 4 and adding 5. All right, so there's one more piece to this. This is, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry this graph over to the next page. Same graph. Okay, let me put, uh, well, I'll show the translation of K again, just to put it on here. But it's the same thing. We said that our rule was x minus 4, y plus 5. That's what we came up with on the last page. Our x value went down by 4. The y value went up by 5. So the new piece here is this table. So we need to know how to do all of these different aspects for translations. Just doing the translation, moving it, is simple. This takes a little more thought, basically because you got to remember what all is involved in doing this. Let's start with the first column here. The first column just says the coordinates of KST. The coordinates of KST. So all I'm going to do is write the coordinates of K, S, and T. So if I look at point K, the coordinates are 1, negative 2. So 1, negative 2. I look at point S, the coordinates are 2, negative 1. I look at point P, the coordinates are 3, negative 3. All right. So the first column is all I'm doing is writing the points, the coordinates of the points of where the object starts at. The next piece is the rule. So let's look at what we're going to do with that. So here was my rule I came up with. Take the x value minus 4, take the y value plus 5, and it should give me my new coordinates. 
So doing this over here was a way to do it graphically or visually. Over here is a way to do the same thing mathematically. So my rule says take the x value minus 4. So we're going to do each point. We're going to plug each point into the rule. Point K, the x value was 1. So I want to do 1 minus 4. The y value was negative 2, so I plug that into the rule. Negative 2 plus 5. And now if we did this correctly, it should give us the coordinates of the new k prime point. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. And let's just verify that. Here's my, my k point up here. The coordinates of k are negative 3, 3. Is that what we got? Yes. So what we're doing in the table is we're using our rule to plug in our starting coordinates. And then the answer to that is our new coordinates. So if you don't have a graph and you just have a rule and starting coordinates, you can just plug them in and find out the coordinates of your new point. So let's do the same thing with S and T. So S, the X value is 2, so I'm going to plug it into my formula, or my rule, 2 minus 4. My Y value is negative 1, so I plug that in, negative 1 plus 5. Do the math. Let's see what we get. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Again, let's check that. This is saying that I should have written in here... Uh, K prime, S prime, and this is T prime. I forgot to write that in here. So I'm writing the coordinates of K prime, S prime, and T prime here, just like I wrote K, S, and T here. So let's check S prime, make sure we came up with the right coordinates. It says negative 2, 4, so let's check. S prime is at negative 2, 4. So that worked out. And now the last one, T so we're going to plug T into our rule. So I'm plugging in a 3 for X. So I have 3 minus 4. My Y is negative 3. So I have negative 3 plus 5. Let's do the math and see what we get. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Let's check that. T prime should be at negative 1, 2. T prime is at negative 1, 2. And that's all there is to it. So this is describing mathematically how did we get from KST to K prime, S prime, T prime up here. We did it by subtracting 4 from the X coordinate, subtract or adding 5 to the Y coordinate. And here's the last piece of this lesson. So the last piece of this is you're given a graph with two shapes. And you want to come up with a rule to describe this translation. So you're already given a translation. Come up with a rule to describe it. The first thing you got to know is how do I know which one of these is my starting point and which one of these is my ending point? Did I start here and move here? Or did I start here and move there? Here's how you tell. These little marks here, right, are primes. Our prime is always where we move to. So we started here and moved to there. So as we're coming up with our rule, my A went from here to here. The B, C, and D have the same movement, so I'm just going to map the A. And so my A point for a horizontal translation, how far did it move left or right? It went one, two, three, four, five units right. So I just write five units right. That's my horizontal translation. My vertical translation, I went one, two, three, four units down. So I write four units down. 
And now the last piece is to write the rule. So I'm either going to add or subtract to my x and y values. So my x value was here. It moved over to here. So it moved to the right, five units right. So did my x value increase or decrease as I moved over here? Just look at the graph. The x values increased. How much did they increase by? Five units. So it's x plus five. My y, or my vertical translation here, it went down. One, two, three, four. We said four units down. So as it moves down, the values are decreasing. So it went down by four. So I write y minus four. And that's all there is for this lesson. If you need to back it up and watch any of these things again, please do. Hopefully uh, this is clear to you, and if not, Feel free to ask me a question by email or in class. So, Mr. Bywater is out.